beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. I hope this le- this message, this lesson finds you unstoppable, unbreakable, unshakable, invincible, indestructible, empower, peace, love, and sound mind. And if you're not that, let God bless you and bring you up and build you up and bind up all your wounds and heal you where you need to be healed and save you where you need to be saved because I know the type of stuff that are going on in the world right now. So brother and sister, please stay prayed up. With that being said, let's go into the lesson. So God had me put together the children of light, the children of darkness, the sons of perdition, right? So let's get into it, all right? So the first book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 5. You are you are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. John chapter 12, verse 36. While you have light, believe in the light, that you may be the children of the light. These things speak Christ and departed and did hide himself from them right Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 for ye were sometimes darkness but you are now light in the Lord walk as children of the light so when these people want to argue about religion and they want to argue about who it's is is are you children of the light or children of the darkness because Satan has children of all nations you understand every nation every kindred every tongue of people there's of children of darkness and just like every tongue every nation and every color of people there's children of light so this division of it's really good and evil light and darkness are you a child of light are you a child of darkness do you do works of light are you do works of darkness so you fighting each other about things that don't matter are, are they doing works of light? Or are they doing works of darkness? You'll know. But God called us out of darkness to his light. And we're going to get into this because it's going to get more informative. I just wanted to get into some scriptures that we are the children of the light. But you got to understand there's children of darkness. And if it really boils down to good and evil, light and darkness, Jews and Gentiles, whether they're light, children of light, following the Father and his works and his way, and in the light, are there children of Satan doing the works of darkness? And it don't matter what nation, color, or kindred they are, that's how you should differentiate God's creation, male and female, any kindred, nation, and tongue they are. Are they light or are they darkness? Do they do the works of light or do they do the works of darkness? Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8. For you were sometimes in darkness. Yeah, we did things. We sinned. We did evil before. But you are now light in the Lord. Sins forgiven. Walk as children of light. Luke chapter 16 verse 8. And the Lord commanded the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light why would it say that because the children of darkness know a whole bunch of dark arts they know a whole bunch of darkness (laughs) so you know there's children of satan children of darkness but i want to go into this book the children of darkness is a vampire coven that endures for over centuries, also known as children of Satan. They feed off the blood of the indignant, indigents, live in squalor, and seek to do the work of Satan. And they understand it. They understand as they understand it. They either destroy vampire covens that do not conform to their beliefs, or capture and convert them through their faith and torture. So, what did it say? Satan, the work of Satan as they understand it. Let's go back. And the Luke 16 and 18. And the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Why? They're wise to do evil. 
they know how to fashion the evil. They're not wise to do good. They know every fashion of evil to do. The children of this world, the children of Satan. The first book of Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 5. You are all of all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night. Children, Satan's children are children of the night. And we are nor our darkness. That's why they operate in the darkness and they operate at night. The children of the the light, we rule the day. We are we are of the wheat and the children. What are we? We are the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Amen. Amen. The first book of John, chapter one, verse seven. But if you walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. Our friends should be light. The people we associate with should be light if we're a child of light. And the blood of Emmanuel Christ's son cleanses us from our sins. John chapter 3 verse 20. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. What? So you know how it says... um some people's light irritates their demons this is what we're getting into because when he die when people do evil they hate the people who do the light because the spirits that are in them for example somebody who's a liar they carry the spirit of lying they're not gonna like somebody who tells the truth because their spirit they're carrying the spirit of truth Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? It's the spirits that are fighting against each other. So that person who uh, has the spirit of lying and the other person who has the spirit of truth, they're fighting against each other. The spirits in them are fighting against each other because the spirits identify that that person's light, that person's darkness, that person's truth, that person's a lie. A liar so truth fights against the lie the light is shining the light on the, the the light the truth is shining the light on the darkness and the lie and the person who has the spirit of lying they're fighting against the truth with their darkness do you understand trying to hide the light so that's how people's spirits irritate some people are upset and angry with you for no reason. They hate you without a cause because everyone that does evil hates the light. Neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Be reproved. But that's how you know it's say, Oh, some people's demons, irrit your light irritates their demons. Their light irritates their devils, their unclean spirits that's in them. Yes, it does. So when someone speaks the truth, the spirit of lying in that person is going to fight with them. It's going to be attacking the truth that they're speaking because they have the spirit of lying. But a, another person who has the spirit of truth, it's going to resonate with them because truth recognizes truth and embraces it and rejoices in it. But another person who has a lying spirit connected to that liar they're gonna be fighting against the person that has the truth because it's a spirit thing it's the spirit so just like okay we'll give you another example the spirit of witchcraft some people do witchcraft and dark arts right what is this but the spirit of witchcraft comes with a whole bunch a lot of other spirits right but if you have the spirit of the lord the spirit of god the spirit of witchcraft can identify that you have the spirit of God. And the spirit of God that's in you is already fighting against the spirit of witchcraft. Because the spirit of witchcraft comes with confusion, illusion, lies, the spirit of lies, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of illusion, all of that. God, what comes with the spirit of God? The spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of power the spirit of truth and witchcraft is the opposite of all that it's a lie it's an illusion it's confusion with god there's understanding with god there's knowledge with god there's clarity so you understand 
That's how people's light irritates people. People's light irritates people's demons that's in them. Is that when they say demons, what evil spirit is in that person? Because an adulterer will hate somebody who's abstinent and holy, who doesn't is not promiscuous. Because it's the spirits that are identifying each other. One's a spirit of light and good. One's a spirit of darkness and evil that needs to be casted out of the person. If it's not casted out of the person, they're letting that spirit use them. They're letting that spirit use them to fight against the light. That's why, let's go back to John chapter 3 verse 20. For everyone that does evil hates the light neither comes to the light lest his deeds should be reproved so the witchcraft spirit it's it identifies the spirit of god and the spirit of god is powerful which destroys any power of witchcraft so that's why it fight that's why people who do witchcraft fight against people who have the spirit of god because spirit of god says what suffer not a witch to live D do you understand so whatever spirit somebody's carrying that is the opposite of the negative say the negative spirit that they're carrying over the positive spirit it's going to be a fight that's the we fight and not we fight it we fight not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers you understand but you're also devils and unclean spirits that's why that is why Christ came to cast them out and heal them. Once those spirits were cast out of them, they were healed. But now you have people, they're making those spirits use them. Now, let's go back. Now, John chapter 8, verse 12. And then spake, spake Emmanuel Christ again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life. So the light of life. Now, Matthew chapter four, verse 16, the people which sat in darkness saw a great light. And to them which sat in the region of the sha region and the shadow of death, light is spring up. Luke chapter 11, verse 34, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body is also full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. That's people who have an evil eye. We're going to talk about the evil eye because the light, that's how people have evil eye because of the light of their eyes. The light of the body is the eyes. Therefore, if thy eye is single, thy whole body is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body is also full of darkness. Matthew chapter 6 verse 22. The light of the body is the eyes. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Now, what, what is this evil eye? There's evil eye. There's people who evil eye you for doing good. But it's not good. If their eye offend thee, they should pluck it out. <laughs> Matthew chapter 20 verse 15. Is, what did Christ say? Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is thy eye evil because I am good? So people will evil eye you for being good. He said what? Isn't it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is thy eye evil? because i am good <laughs> matthew chapter 18 verse 9 and if thy eye offend thee pluck it out and cast it from thee it is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes be cast into hellfire do you do evils with your eyes are you watching people for iniquity are you evil lying people and watching people for their goods are you setting your eyes for evil on what belongs to another? Are you watching people for evil? Well, your eye is offending you. Are you watching people to lust after them and take from them and take what's theirs? Are you watching people to steal from them and covet from them? Are you watching people for evil purposes? If thy eye offend thee, pluck it out. 
and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes be cast into hellfire. Because you know, Luke chapter 11, 30, 30, 30, 34, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body is also full of darkness. That's why it says, if your eyes offend you, pluck it out. Because what? If your eye is single, it's full of light. But if it's evil, your whole body is darkness. Your whole body is darkness if your eyes are evil. So it's better you even pluck out those evil eyes that you have. It's better you don't even see than you have evil eyes because your whole body's operating in darkness is what it's telling you. You didn't hear him? And if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out. What's the offense of your eyes? Amen. Watching them pe people for envy and jealousy purposes, watching people for evil, your eyes are offending you. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 22. He that hastes to be rich has an evil eye and considers that poverty sh considers not that poverty shall come upon him. So we know who has an evil eye. But if their eye is evil, their whole body is full of darkness. They're full of dead man's bones. You understand why Christ said what he said? People don't understand the spirits that are inhabiting them when they have an evil eye. Envy, jealousy, those things are bad for your health. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that has an evil eye. Neither desire his dainty meats. We got to go back to that whole precept. The, the next part of it. Because I want to get the whole understanding. I don't know why I didn't put it there. Forgive me. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that has an evil eye. Why is it not clicking? Hateful people, I cancel that. Don't try, why is it, oh my goodness, my computer froze. I don't know, that never happened before. I guess it doesn't want me to teach that. It's been, I'll give it a second or two. Let me get back. But it basically says, eat thou not the bread of him that has an evil eye. Neither desire thou his meat, dainty meats. Here it is. Okay, there it goes. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, says he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Why? Because he has an evil eye. His whole heart is full of, his whole body is full of darkness. So his intentions for you are not good. His heart is not good toward you. You know the hearts of men are desperately wicked. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink says he to thee but his heart is not with thee his heart's not with thee the more so which thou hast eaten thou shalt vomit it up and lose thy sweet words speak not in the ears of a fool for he will despise the wisdom of thy words Amen. now that's what i wanted to go back to concerning the evil eye so even people for as he thinks in his heart, so is he, because his eye is evil. He's full of darkness. <laughs> John chapter 12, verse 36. While you have light, believe in the light, that you may be children of the light. These things Christ spoke, Emmanuel, and departed and did hide himself from them. So we understand people's eyes offend them. John chapter 5 verse 35 he was a he was burning and a shining light and you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light now we got to talk about the sons of perdition what is perdition perdition a state of eternal punishment and damnation into which sinful and impertinent person passes after death damnation eternal punishment hell hell fire Spiritual destruction, doom, ruin, ruination, condemnation, destruction, downfall. You get it? So that's perdition. 
But let's talk about the perdition. Sons of perdition. The followers of Satan who will suffer with him in, in eternity. Sons of perdition include one. Those who followed Satan and were cast out of heaven for rebellion during pre-morality. And those who were permitted to be born to this world with physical bodies. But then serve Satan and, and turn utterly against God. So we know there's people who, remember, angels are spirits. Here we go, Hebrews 1 and 7. 1 and, 7. and the angels, he said, who made his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. So you have angels who were given physical bodies when they fell. That's why it tells you you entertain angels and you don't even know. Some good, some evil, some fallen, some not, some who come to visit to take care of God's children in the heavens and earth. Then you got the the the, the fallen angels. When they fell, they, they were spirits. They were some of them were permitted physical bodies. So you do have angels among you. You entertain angels at unawares all the time. Those who were permitted to be born to this world with physical bodies, but then serve Satan and turn utterly against God. Those in remember there's physical beings and spiritual beings so there were spiritual beings that were permitted to be born into this world with physical bodies but then served satan and turned utterly against god those in this second group will be resurrected from the dead but will not be redeemed from the second spiritual death and cannot dwell in the kingdom of glory we know about the sons of perdition those who deny Christ's miracle to get gain shall become like the sons of perdition. That's in the second book. Yeah. And woe unto him that shall say that day to get gain that there can be no miracle wrought by Emmanuel Christ. For he that does this shall become like unto the son of perdition for whom there was no mercy according to the word of Christ. So perdition. They will receive no forgiveness in this world or the next. They are the only ones who will not be redeemed from the second death. Concerning whom I have said there is no forgiveness in this world nor in the world to come. Having denied the Holy Spirit after, after having received it. And having denied the only begotten Son of the Father, having crucified him unto themselves and put him to an open shame, these are they that shall go into the lake of fire. That's I'm reading it right here. <laughs> they will receive no forgiveness in this world are the next because they denied the holy spirit the sons of perdition the sons of perdition do what having denied the holy spirit after having received it they received the holy spirit but they denied it and having denied the only begotten son of the father having crucified him unto themselves and put him to open shame that's the sons of perdition sons of perdition deny the son after the father has revealed him Sons of perdition deny the Holy Spirit after receiving it. Those are the sons of Satan. Now perdition. Philippians chapter 1 verse 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries. Which is to them an evident token of perdition. Fear not. Don't fear them. But to you of salvation and, and that of God. So don't be terrified by your adversaries because that's perdition. God told you to fear not. Be not dismayed. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 39. But we are not of them who are drawn back onto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. <laughs> 
and the and it talks about the beast in revelation and the beast which was and is not even he that is the eighth and is of the seven and goes into perdition now two thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first and that ma the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition 2 timothy 2 peter chapter 3 verse 7 but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men john chapter 17 verse 12 while i was with them in the world said christ i keep them in the in thy i kept them in thy name those that thou gavest me i have kept and none of them is lost but the son of perdition that the scriptures may be fulfilled the son of perdition are lost but none that god gave to christ are lost They're, they keep his keep god's name do you understand so there's two sets of things going on out here what kind of spirits are you embodying the spirits of light or the spirits of darkness you know because that's how people's spirit people's presence irritate people's demons in them they don't have to do they're hated without a cause because it's not that it's the spirit that's using the people it's the spirits that's using them their spirits in prison one peter chap you know they just talk about the flesh but people's souls and spirits have been in prison that need deliverance from the spiritual realm but but they didn't even understand when peter 1 peter chapter 3 verse 19 by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison he said spirits he didn't say people he didn't say flesh he said spirits are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister them who shall be heirs of salvation who made his angels spirits his ministers a flame and fire remember you have a physical life and a spiritual life and this is what the teaching is basically about light and darkness and this and your eye being evil and if your eye be single, your whole body is full of light. And if your eye be full of, is evil, it's full of darkness. And that's how you're going to operate. And that's the type of spirits that are going to come on, on you and that are working in you. Because if you have an evil eye, there's evil spirits in you, most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> children of light, children of darkness, sons of perdition. So now you understand why people's, you know, light irritates people's darkness because they got a dark spirit in them. They got an evil spirit in them. They're possessed by a devil. Well, thank you for your time, your love and kindness and your support to my channel. And I just want you people to know I don't get paid for YouTube. I don't, I, you never ask me, I don't have a PayPal or a Cash App or or go fund me or nothing i this channel is basically solely upon saving souls i don't get paid from youtube i don't ask you to donate i don't ask you to sow a seed all of this work i do it for free i do it for god this is god's work i do for free so you weirdos who keep coming to my channel throw in spell work and throw in financial stuff i don't get paid for the work i do for youtube I don't get paid from YouTube and I don't I never took a dollar from any of my subscribers. I never had a donation. No, I never asked nobody to sew into this ministry. I do not practice priestcraft. I teach the word of truth and the word of God because I love God's creation and I want them to reach salvation. This is not any, you know, any underhanded thing. I don't want your money. Everything I tell you, I say fast and pray and take it up to God. This is what it is. So you can please stop sending your attacks to my YouTube because it for finances, because this is not a financial channel. This is a God saving channel. Save for you to get to God. This is not about that. This is for my love for God 
and I'm doing the work of the Lord. God bless you. Even those who persecute me and mock me and come to my channel for ungodly purposes, God bless you. Bless you away from me. Beautiful people of God and those who come for good, let God bless you a hundred folds. Stay blessed. Okay.